Margin of Safety Problem 1. Fruit Computer Corporation makes custom fruit-shaped computers. It is currently producing 40 computers per month. Data are as follows. Sales price per unit $900, variable cost per unit $470, fixed cost per month $13,760. If Fruit Computer Corporation expects to sell 40 units per month, how much is its margin of safety expressed in sales revenue? Students always get really concerned with margin of safety. This is the margin of safety question. And margin of safety, don't get concerned because as long as you understand break even, you can take a nice seat back and just relax because really it's just an additional step beyond break even. That's all this is. Margin of safety problems really just break even with one additional step, a real simple step. So margin of safety, first place you're always gonna start is break even. Now you wanna determine the margin of safety in terms of units or sales revenue because that's gonna be a function of what you need um, in the end, in the end. Now, I always, in margin of safety questions, I always like to look at the break even in units because that helps me just visualize what's going on. So remember, the break even in units in a question is gonna be the fixed costs plus the desired profit, which for break even questions is always equal to zero. So break even is always equal to zero. You might be asking, why do I always do that when for break even that's always zero? Because that way, if you remember this formula, you can use the same formula. You remember the formula always works for a targeted um, profit or desired profit question. You just know break even, that equals zero. Oh, yes. So and then the denominator is going to be the contribution margin per unit, per unit. So first thing in a margin of safety question, start by calculating break even. You could do break even in dollars. I like to do break even in units. That's step one. Step one, calculate the break even in units. I'll, I'll explain what the margin of safety is later on, but let's just start there. Okay. Our fixed costs, $13,760. Boom, right there. Again, it's a break even question. So it's zero for the desired profit. So we have 13000 760 questions, 60 question, $60 in the numerator. Denominator is a contribution margin per unit. That's going to be real simple. We just take, boom, these two numbers right here. That gives us our contribution margin per unit by subtraction, right? That's going to be 900 minus 470. That's going to be 430. So contribution margin per unit is $430 um, per unit, per unit. So we can go ahead and we can divide that by 430 per unit. When you calculate the break even in units, which we've just set up the numerator and denominator, the break even in units, which remember you always round up to the next, regardless whether it's 30.23, you round up to 31. Here it's 32 units. The break even is 32 units. Okay. That is the first step. The second step in a margin of safety question is you take the number of units given to you or dollars. Here it's number of units. So if you're given dollars, if you're given margin of safety in dollars or how much they expect to, they expect to, um, if you're given, I should say, not the, not the margin of safety, but if you're given a expected amount in dollars, then you want to calculate the break even in dollars. But here is break even units. And you can always get the break even in dollars, by the way, by taking the number of units by the sales price. That's a little trick that um, you can get, you can back that way. And I like to calculate break even units over break even dollars. I don't really do, like doing the contribution margin ratio, even though it's easy, right? It's just contribution margin over sales. I just, something in my mind, I like doing break even in units. Just a really, a good, good um, calculation. So the second step here, what you do is you take the expected, what it expects to sell. So it expects to sell 40 units. So we take the expected number of sales, can be again a revenue, but here it's in units, minus the break even minus the break even. So the expected sales are 40 units minus 32. So the margin of safety is eight units. The margin of safety is eight units. So that is our margin of safety. We are eight units above the break even. That's what the margin of safety is. It's how much beyond the break even because you wanna get at least some profit. A lot of companies are looking for that, right? Um, of course, you're safe at the break-even amount, but you want to strive for more. You want to strive for more. There's one final step, and this one's easy. And again, this is why as long as you understand the break-even the break -even calculation, that's the hard part. The hard part's over. So that was the second step, was just calculating the difference above the break-even. The third step is to take the number of units 
because this question is asking for the margin of safety in sales revenue. And if we were asked for the margin of, of um, margin of safety in units, we'd be done. But this one's asking for um, the margin of safety in sales revenue. We're going to take the number of units margin of safety. And we're going to multiply that by the sales price, by the sales price. And that will give us the revenue. So that's going to be eight units times $900 is a sales price. That's right here. And that's going to equal $7,200. And that is our answer. The margin of safety expressed in sales revenue equals $7,200. Just think about, again, what's going on. You're going beyond the break-even amount. The break-even amount here was 32 units. Again, we can calculate that in sales as well if you want to do that. You just take the fixed cost plus the desired profit, which break even zero, divide that by the contribution margin ratio. You get the number in dollars. If you're asked that, you, you can also go, you can also calculate it that way as well by looking at what you would sell at 40 units versus the break even dollar. You can get multiple ways. That's one thing I love about managerial accounting is that you can get so many different ways. I think this is the easiest for me because I like using break even units. So the second step was we got the number of um, units um, that are the margin, um, margin of safety, margin of safety units. Okay, so margin of safety units. And then the third step was we multiply the margin of safety units by the, the sales price, $900 per unit, to get the amount in revenue. And that's really everything. That's all margin of safety is. Margin of safety is if you're going above the break-even amount for this, what you're expected. How much, what cushion do you have? We have a $7,200 cushion beyond the break-even amount to sell. And the idea is that a lot of times in accounting, we look for conservatism. So we want to make sure that we're going above what we need to do for the break even and ensure that the company is going to do well.